So good evening, we are outside a very innocuous looking chicken shed in Newcastle. Yes, we are in Newcastle for the uh, press night of Psychopath. <clears throat> the event opened last year, uh, there was, uh, had some good reviews from a few people, but it has really, really expanded this year. So we are here to find out what's going on. So look back later, uh, we will take a lot more photos inside and we will let you know what's happening.
So good morning. It's another one of those nighttime daytime things. So the last time you saw me, I was wearing something completely different. I was outdoors. It was nighttime. And uh, I was about to go and have another drink. And that could be the reason why we're now filming this the day after. Because we stayed at Psychopath for quite a long time last night. Um, as we showed you earlier, there is uh, their own brand of Psychopath Lager. There's their own brand of Psychopath IPA. Uh, we also tried out the Psychopath Gin, and we've got a bottle of that that we've actually brought home with us. Uh, that was very nice. Um, so, yes, we did actually stay a little bit longer than we planned to. And as I have said before, I will not be showing videos of us having one too many. Not that we have many, but we did have a few, and it wouldn't have been professional to show that video last night. So there here we are the next morning. Uh, filming the rest of our response to the experience. So yes, Psychopath last year was a very small event. A few people uh, didn't really have huge uh, reviews from people. So what they've done this year is they've really added to it. So the main vid the main area you'll have seen there is a big old chicken run. Believe it or not, there were actually chickens in that room only a few months ago. So all the chickens have been cleared out. And it's now been made into a great big event arena. There was so much going on there. We've put, got the walkthrough video of the food stalls, some of the music that's going on, the magic. The atmosphere in there was incredible. And that was probably why we stayed a little bit longer than we probably should have done and why we had a little bit too much of the drink. But, um, you know, we're only human, but hey-ho. So, yeah, the atmosphere in there was great. And then from there, you went on a van ride down to psychopath now that van ride was exceedingly uh bumpy very dark uh, it was absolutely great fun there's a bit of video footage there but it's a bit rough the camera's shaking all like that because we were bouncing over um potholes and everything on the way there we then did the psychopath which is about a, a half hour outdoor trial um not quite sure the story of it it was like a post-apocalyptic thing Quite, some quite random scenes there, but it was great fun. Um, some really good scares on the way. As you would expect with something so long, unless you have hundreds and hundreds of actors, there were a few dead spots along the way. But, you know, it was um, interesting. Could just crank up that intensity just a little bit. That then followed into Psychopath, which was a new maze um, for this year. This really reminded us of the colony at uh, Tully's, which has now been made into the Reckoning. Lots of wooden structures, um, sort of slightly outdoors, indoors and whatever. Uh, the actors were really good in there, really lively, and there was a lot going on. We then caught the bumpy van back up to the main event arena where we did our final uh, maze of the evening, which was Ice Cream. Ice Cream was this really intense... Uh, clown maze it started off like your traditional clown maze like you like Tully's you know the curtain maze but that then soon moved into an ice cream factory lots of scares the actors were brilliant we went through an ice cream van at some point it's quite difficult to remember all the um, elements of that but that was a really fun little maze all in we had an absolutely brilliant time at Psychopath um, there's so much they could do with that site and what i would say is they could probably do with making some of the more attractions linked off of the main event arena because it ended up like an event in two parts so we were up in the event arena we caught the van down to the other the other side there was a bar down at the bottom and you could stop and drink down there as well um which we might have done as well but uh, it did split the people up the but the main noise liveliness atmosphere was up in the main barn that was incredible up there uh we also tried a palmo now we are from down south so for those who don't know a palmo is a deep fried chicken speciality of the area uh it was gorgeous it was really really nice um but there was lots of other good food options one of the things we also liked is um the food stands were, they basically worked on tokens. So you bought tokens to, to buy your food and, and your drink and it just worked easier and it just meant nowhere had to, had to take cash along the way. All in, fairground outside, lots and lots of fun. Um, I really think Psychopath is going to be the one to watch going forward. Uh, the team know what they're doing. Um, they've actually, and this is not common knowledge, but we're going to get this out there. Uh, they've had some help from a certain farmer from a large scare attraction down south so stuart stuart beer from tully's your your influence is seen at the event and uh, the actors were actually being um 
uh, trained and supported by Screen Park Entertainments, who are the team behind Tully's. So, yeah, they've got some professionals there helping them out. Uh, the guys really know what they're doing. They're really making a difference. And I think that's just, that event is just going to keep growing and growing. Um, yeah, for us Southerners, it's a long way up north. It's up in Newcastle. Um, I won't even do my Newcastle accent, but basically everybody around me sounded like they came from Geordie Shore. So, way I man. Um, but, yeah, it was great up there. So friendly. Such a good welcome. Um, and uh, we had such a good time. So... We're going to sign off now. The, re the review will go up soon. And uh, if you get a chance, do go up to Psychopath in Newcastle and um, tell them Scare to have sent you. And try the gin. But remember, don't video when drunk, because we didn't. Anyway, have a good time. We will see you at the next event. Uh, we've got a lot coming up this week. And, um, yes, keep looking out for more videos.